Welcome again. Right now we're at Romans chapter 12, verse 2. We're talking about do not be conformed to this world. Paul says, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what is the good, well-pleasing, and perfect will of God. And this is where a lot of Christians miss it. They are not transformed, okay? They are conformed to this world. It says here we are supposed to be transformed, not to be conformed to this world. And someone might say, well, what does it mean to be conformed to this world? Well, listen, do you watch secular TV shows? Do you enjoy secular TV shows? Do you enjoy secular music? Do you enjoy your secular friends? Do you enjoy worldly activities that really don't get you any closer to God at all? That, my friend, is part of the world. We're not supposed to be conformed to this world. Did you know that when television first came out, okay, the church by and large condemned it okay they knew that the television was an instrument of evil for the most part i mean we can use it for good and there are some people that do use it for good but for the most part television was and still is an instrument of evil people just sit there on their couch and they watch this stuff you know your eyes are like the gates to your soul what the scripture says do you know your ears are like gates into your spirit i mean that's how you're saved you hear the word of god and you accept it and you act upon it well you know what when you sit there in front of the television if you listen Listen to just secular TV or if you listen to secular music or whatever the case may be and if that takes more of your time than really getting in to the scriptures then I'm telling you you are being conformed to this world you are being sung a lullaby and you are being lulled to sleep and brain well, not brainwashed but brain filthy okay brain dirtied okay brain soiled by this world and by the devil don't do that okay Put away all of your worldly stuff. Destroy that worldly music. Just delete all that stuff. Destroy everything you got as worldly, okay? I mean, hey, when I got saved, I took all of my worldly music and I destroyed it. I took all of my worldly books. And yes, I did exactly what they did in the Bible, in the book of Acts. I got rid of those books. I burned those books, okay? That's what they did in the book of Acts. And that is what we should do. We should purge ourselves from this world. When you watch TV after you've been really soaking into his word and really getting the value of the spiritual things of God in your life and you sit down and you watch TV, then you'll see how vain, how absolutely empty, and how dirty this stuff really is. So do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove and you will know what is the good, well-pleasing, and perfect will of God. Seek him with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.